Welcome to our Savvy Series. I'm Catherine Magani. I'm here with Rachel Ivanovich. Um, so today we want to talk a little bit about planning for the new year. Um, but before we get started, we did want our listeners to know that we're available to chat or just if you wanted to bounce some ideas. And um, so you can reach us at 760-692-5190. And we're a lot of fun. We want yes, to talk to you. <laughs> absolutely. So I guess um, to start, we were thinking we were just talking about um, kind of the end of the year and kind of what's on people's minds right now. We're, you know, we're probably in the first week in December right now. And and I asked Catherine <laughs> if she had started her Christmas shopping yet, because I haven't. I know. And, and I was like, well, I actually am done with everything. <laughs> I can't so, believe it. Um, I, um, I, yeah, this this year, I mean, I've everything wrapped and under the tree. I don't and even I'm know like, how done. you do that. Oh, yeah, I, I'm the last minute person with when it comes to that. <laughs> Kids get nothing this year. Well, I think because I have a birthday. My Jocelyn has a birthday. Oh, and so right, we have birthdays and then all the holiday gatherings. And so it's just one of those things that like, right after to Thanksgiving, I have it on the calendar, and I literally book it out with the family calendar that we are taking the time and we're going to get this okay. done. Okay, all right, I got to take a, a page out <laughs> yes. of your book. <laughs> no. no, trust me, I've done I it. I am in a the planner. Past. Yes, I promise. But when it comes to gift and shopping, yeah, uh, like, I've got to learn from you. Yeah. yeah. So, 2024. So, yeah, here we are. What are we doing? I can't believe it's already going to be here. Um, kind of taking a step back and reflecting on this last year and just kind of thinking about, you know, what... Did you hit of, your goals? Yeah, I, I hit a lot of them, but I didn't hit them all. And just um, so kind of... What did, what did you get done that you really wanted to do in um, 23? Yeah, I think for us, um, well, I have kids that are going to be going to college in the next few years. So, Scary. Yeah, so I've been looking... <laughs> um, so we increased a lot of our education savings yeah. and did all the max in the, the retirement savings. Um, one of our goals as a family was to get a, a new car for the family. So we did that. Um, so I did, I felt like there were some things that happened like personally, business, Professionally? yeah, business wise, we brought on an amazing new fun, uh, wild advisor, Rachel. <laughs> so you. that was a huge win for us. <laughs> it's been great. It's um, been fun. But so we, hard. yeah, but wait we, for next year. I know it's just, it's been a lot of fun kind of growing together and, but you know, we are still looking at growing the business. We didn't hit some of our you know revenue projections for the year, but I, I'm hopeful and kind of looking going forward thinking, okay, I, I definitely think it's something we can do. So when you don't hit those, um, I, I do the same for my team. If you don't hit those goals, when you reflecting back, yeah. how how do you change them for next year, yeah. and what are the strategies that you put in place? So I kind of look at I do we do some projections. Um, so obviously with investing in the markets, we kind of back we don't factor that in. We just yeah. really look at okay, what can we do to grow the business, not considering the market volatility. Um, and then kind of looking at, you know, what kind of events, how many clients, and just kind of, you know, what could we be doing to service our existing clients and also getting new yeah. clients. It's always so. so good to reflect back and look at, okay, what's working, yeah. what worked well, uh, what, can we, what can we improve upon, and, you know, what are the ideas? Yeah. And then looking at, um, you know, and then obviously the revenue or new clients and how does that all, you know, to, what do yeah. we see going forward? And then you kind of have to start and say, okay, this is where I'm at now. What do I have to project in the future? Because you can't change what how is where we're at yeah. but we can now do some reflection and see okay what can we do going into the new year um, and so we're revisiting some marketing ideas we have a team Love business that. planning today and so really looking forward to next year and and, and some of the new ideas um, on a personal level one of the things i didn't do <laughs> was um we um have been saving for some floors in the house and doing a, a remodel on that um we've been saving for that for a while and i had we have the money allocated but then you know, life happens, yeah. and we had a big plumbing issue this year. <laughs> so that's right. Um, so yeah. we had to take a step back, and so that goal got is getting pushed into next year. So and honestly, I think that brings up a good point. You never know what's coming, so it's so important to have that safety net yeah. and that emergency fund set aside. So you have your money allocated for your goals, but then also to have that reserve just in case you need. You know, your car breaks down, and right. you have the extra, you know, thousand, two thousand yeah. dollars, so you don't have to pull out of your current budget to to fund okay, those expenses. Yeah. It always derails things when you don't have the safety net. Yes, it is important to have that emergency fund, or even if you have yeah. projects you're allocating. And then, you know, for us, I mean, we'd been. I mean, yes, I would still love to do it, but the reality is, you know, we needed to wait because that was our goal, and we had to make some adjustments. So, it's, but it's hard. I mean, it's like it's you, so I just hard. want. I want that instant I gratification. Want I want to do it now, but <laughs> it's being, you know, looking at, you know, I'm. You know, That's funny that you say that because I wrote in my my in my 2024 um, plan win, mm -hmm. and that is a basically from Lou Holtz, um, Coach Lou Holtz, mm -hmm. um, and he talks about win being what's important now, because we're really faced with a lot of decisions and critical choices in our life every day. You know, every minute there's a choice or a decision to be made, and as you before you make that decision, mm -hmm. what's important now? How can I win? And so that is the word that I wrote down for 2024. Oh, nice. okay. um, and I think it's really, really good to think about, okay, so what does a win 
look like to me? What does it mean? So if I'm like, yay, winning. Mm -hmm. Okay, what does that really mean? Mm -hmm. um, so for me, I would really reflect it on what are my values? Because when my values are clear, then it makes my decisions really easy. And so, you know, kind of boiled them down to, okay, integrity is really important to me. I'm making sure I'm always doing the right thing um, in the moment. Growth is really important and learning. And so 23, my goal was to um, become um, licensed as a wealth advisor. And so studied really hard for that for two years. You did. <laughs> and here you are. Here I am. Yes. And really, I think for me, 2024, looking into do I study for the CFP exam, um, that is a, a big goal for me and to invest the time in that. But. Yeah. Education is definitely important, and yeah. um, that's you know I'll, I'll a huge commitment. I absolutely would yes. support you in that because I think that's definitely a, a good goal to have. To and have. I love learning. Yes, <laughs> you do, <laughs> and growing. So, but you know, my my goal is to really learn what it's like to work WWM style and really become part of the team, be able to commit more time here, and. Um, Help more people. Yes. Yes. Which we absolutely love. I mean, it's, yes. it's to us, it's the relationships. It's um, that's really my heart. Yeah, and living, you know, seeing people's lives and helping them phase through all these different, you know, things that are going through their lives, whether it be retirement or grandkids or whatever that is. And um, it's you know, that's what makes what we do so special. And I think you see that. In, even, oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, really, being a tax advisor now for almost twenty three years, I've mm -hmm. I've watched clients start their business. Yeah get married, have kids, and now they're looking to, to retire and yeah. maybe even sell their businesses. And it's that's the heartwarming part, yeah. I think. Actually seeing all their hard work pay off. Yeah, yeah and okay. them realizing their dreams and, and then, you know, be able to say, do I have enough money to retire? Yeah. I don't know. And then us tell them, you know, this is the other side of what I do is, okay, now I'm looking at the financial planning and – all of the hard work and saving money for them and helping them, okay, you got to fund your SEP, yeah. got to put money into your 401k, yes. and then all of a sudden working with them to say, yeah, you can retire yeah. with absolute certainty, and yeah, your plan works. Yeah, and so. that's rewarding because I think people, you know, every, it seems like a lot of women work so hard or even couples, yes. it's like they work hard and save, 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 but the reality is, you know, do I have enough? Can I do this? And, yes. and to actually see that next phase is, is like I said, is So a big part of that, and we were going to talk about goals today, mm -hmm. is really, okay, what's important now? Mm -hmm. You know, what are my goals for 2024 and why is that important? Mm -hmm. And really then putting a budget behind those goals like you mm -hmm. were talking about. You had yeah. the goal to, I think you said travel, but then yeah. that got derailed. So, you know, for me, one of the goals is um, going completely digital in my office. Mm -hmm. And because we have the world's changing, business mm -hmm. is changing, uh, almost all of my employees now are remote. Mm -hmm. And so how do we, you know, work more efficiently? Um, and put the right tech in place so that everybody actually has a great experience working remote. But that costs money. It does, yes. Software so, and everything, it does um, to implement and put those things in place. But it's good to have a good goal and infrastructure. Yes. And I think in the long run, I mean, I, I would love to be digital. But the reality is I feel like there's still tons of paper. That there's <laughs> so much paper. <laughs> it's like there's more forms. There's more everything. But yes. Yeah. Like, uh, but believe me, trying to get rid of the 10 key has been, I mean, I'm like holding on tight. I'm like, don't take my 10 key. I need my fine. 10 key. Oh. But then it's like, you know, you've got to lead, follow, or get out of the way. Yeah. With, with those things, I think, and, and learning the new technology. I mean, yesterday I wanted to, you know, write my, my, my goals down in my paper, uh, and my husband was like, why aren't you using your phone? There's a pen in there. I was like, there is? <laughs> He's like, you can actually write in there, and then it'll upload to your computer. Um, so learning tech is a big goal for me, and um, embrace embracing tech. Nice. So, so I think as we think about goals, um, one of the things is – there's personal and professional. I think there's health, wealth, um, family. Community. Yes, community, relationships. I mean, education, financial. I mean, there's so many different kind of areas. areas. Um, I think, you know, yes, having good goals for the, all different areas, but the reality is maybe pick, you know, one or two or three areas that you really want to be focus in, on. Uh, intentional yeah. and focus on for the year. Cause, it's different seasons in yeah, your life. I different know. things are important. I mean, my, all my kids are out of the house now. So yeah. pre 10 years ago, I was really focused on, okay, college. Got to yeah. save for college. Got to get the kids ready to, for college. Yeah. You know, how do we, what are the extracurriculars? Curriculars, yeah. um, so that they can actually get into the best school. And, and so. then that kind of ties for me. I have kids that are, you know, in, right in, in high school. They're like yeah. right in that. And so I've been, 
you know, last year we increased and now I'm looking again, okay, we need to increase it a little bit more. And we've been saving since they were born for yeah. education, but you now I have two kids going, you know, we have two kids going to college all at once. So that's kind of Scary, one of my goals. Catherine. I know. My goal is, is to increase. Um, you can do it. I know. So I've trying to name plan savings. I'm like, all right, it's January's coming up. Let's go ahead and reallocate again. Yeah. So just kind of, re, you know, looking at, once again, like you said, the expenses and, you know, what are we spending? What's coming in and where can we reallocate? And what season bit? are you in yeah. is really important, like you said. Um, I mean, for me, this next year, my mom is getting her own house. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited about that and really helping her and, um, my dad's getting older too, and nice. spending time with him, making sure, you know, really spending time, some quality time, and being intentional about that is really important to me. Nice. Um, and then for me, I mentioned the floors, so we're gonna do the floors in 2024. <sighs> yes. That's the goal. You can I, do we're it. Almost there, so I'm uh, <laughs> definitely gonna get that handled this year. Well, we've been we've been in a seven year remodel in oh, our house. <laughs> So every time we get an extra $1,000, it's, it's like, like, okay, what, what project are we going to do? do now? Oh, nice. So hopefully yeah. by the end of 24, our goal for 24 is to finish the house. Okay, nice. Well, you've done a lot of so 12 months from the now. house. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Like, I've been piecemealing little projects. Like, yeah, my husband wants to blow out the kitchen next. Oh, so. no. <laughs> nice. <laughs> when it's all done, it'll look amazing. It will look yes. amazing. Yeah. Yes. And then it's a journey, yeah, that's right? True. Yes. Enjoy the journey. Exactly. I keep telling myself that every day. And then as we're looking at uh, for next year, um, I know we talk about kind of retirement. And so as the limits change, you, you know, you obviously want to revisit and see, okay, how much am I saving? Um, and how much I, is the employer match? Yes. And are, are you are you maxing? Because I think a lot of the um, simples and 401ks deferrals went up like an extra $500. Yes, they so, did. Um, so making sure we're, we're doing that. And checking with holding is important too, yeah. because oftentimes things in your life change. You want to make sure that your tax withholding is correct so you don't get hit with any underpayment penalties. Because I've heard a rumor, and I don't know for sure, but in one of my feeds it said that underpayment penalties are increasing from 3% to 8% oh, wow. in 2024. And okay. so clients need to be really important really careful with their withholding uh, okay. to ensure that they have enough because the IRS and the states um, require that you pay in ratably throughout mm -hmm. the year. And if you're okay. under withheld, you'll get hit with extra where in the past it was maybe $7 or uh, this you know, $10. It's going to be a big hit for some clients if they're not paying attention. So that's revisit your withholding. And then um, as I'm kind of thinking of the business for next year, looking at overall as a firm, like maybe 12% growth, but that means revenue-wise, you know, that lags. But just in general, that's what I would like to see between now and the end of the year. My goal is uh, at yes. least a minimum of 10 households. There you go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, yes. which is definitely um, yeah. manageable and, and you're capable of doing Well, I just want to help people. Yeah. And I think that it's... Um, I kind of felt like, you know, sometimes it's just one person at a time. Like, let's not, I mean, you can help multiple people, but when you really focus on, okay, who... Who needs the most help yeah. right now? Yeah. yeah. And I think that um, there's a lot of planning and ideas and things that come um, when you when you work with each individual person. So what are some other things that we need to be thinking about at, towards the end of the year? I think just, um, you know, I think we talked about in the past that maybe some of the charitable giving, I, I just, um, I kind of looked where I was at for the year and I made a couple little more donations. Clean um, out your closets. Mm -hmm, goodwill. Clean I, have, the house. I need another. Save your slips. <laughs> People always, I've said it before, what's this? I'll take the standard. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> There's no standard when it comes to charitable giving. It's, yeah. you know, what fits into your budget yeah. and what's on your heart and what's in your closet. Get rid of some yes. of that. <laughs> I'm due for a little. Uh, Keep the slips. Yes. I'm due for a little. Your tax uh, advisor good, will want them. <laughs> goodwill run. Um, but I have been looking the last few weeks because I do make some annual Get donations. an oil change. Especially if they're a business owner, because okay. when you're tracking miles, mm -hmm. um, it's really key to, to have that odometer reading. And okay. so the IRS and the state will accept an odometer reading from, you know, Jiffy Lube or yeah. um, discount tires or whatever. So I always tell clients, go, get your oil changed right around the holidays. Nice. And you'll have it. Any other goals or anything else that you have going oh, on? Oh, gosh, so many. Okay. <laughs> I have so many. I have been working on a book now for three years, and I have a goal to actually publish it this year. Oh, nice. Okay. So that is one of my big goals. Um, it's almost done. Nice. And uh, let's see what else. We've, we've finished our home gym, so oh. working out every, every morning in the home gym with my husband has been okay. fantastic. Nice. But the, the goal is to actually stretch after running because I'm really good at the, the cardio, but mm -hmm. I'm not so good at the stretching part afterwards. Okay. And then I'm not 25 anymore. Yeah. 
And so by the end of the day, I'm hurting all over. Like it's hurt. Well, that's why you, you need uh, Bikram yoga or hot yoga. <laughs> so yes, I agree. I've been, um, Have you been doing, doing that, that? Uh-huh. Uh, once a, on every How's Saturday. That? I've been doing, or at least once a week. Um, I do it. Um, so what's your goal for 24? So for health wise, I um, my goal is to work out three to five times, and one of those is including is the Bikram is- yoga. It definitely is life changing. Um, I've been really more focused on my health this last probably four months. I always kind of knew, I mean, we had the kids' activities and we're just always go, on go, the go. go. And, and, yeah. and so, and I kind of put my health second or third or fourth. And so I've been really in the last four months and going forward looking at, okay, this is really a priority. It needs to be first <laughs> yeah. in a way, Alma, I know. because if you don't feel well, uh, yeah. you don't want to do anything. Put yeah. your oxygen mask on <laughs> first. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so I've been really intentional. I've um, been exercising, eating differently. And so I've, you know, released a few pounds and I feel right. good. And it's just one of those Give things. Give them away. Yes. I'm like, <laughs> you can take them. And so, uh, but that's been a little more of my priority and focus, but it, it comes with making some yeah. shifts and adjustments and because um, I felt like I had to do everything, yeah. and the reality is, if you ask, what's people important to help, now? Yeah. So I feel like that's definitely still my focus yeah. for next year is really on my health, and and I did have a, um, a slightly elevated blood pressure, and that kind of kicked oh, me into yeah. gear. So I was like, You're oh, like, some things need to change. Some things off, and yeah, yeah. So that kind of really, and it, it's fine now. But the reality is, when you have something. You know, I never thought, oh my gosh, I'm still young. I feel good. And, but the reality is, oh no, it's going to start catching up to me. So that's right. Um, that's kind of my, still my kind of focus for next year is to really take care of myself and good. Make, that a, that. make that a priority. What so. else have you got? I know I see that you got, I got a whole seven list things on your list there. <laughs> um, and then we, as a family, I, I really am intentional um, about, you know, looking at taking, doing three family trips um, a year. So just um, where are you headed? So we're actually looking at the, well now with the kids and their activities, but we're looking at in De- in December. Uh, we usually take the week after Christmas off, and um, we go downtown or we've done a cruise. And but I haven't booked anything yet because um, the kids are in winter sports, since so I'm not sure yet at their schedules. schedules and so, yeah. uh, but we're, I'm definitely have it on the calendar to take off. Um, and then you know we've talked. One of the things we're looking at is um, potentially taking um, the kids next year to. We're looking at um, doing like the. Hawaii trip with like the Honolulu like we haven't done that um, I haven't done that probably in gosh 20 or 30 years it's oh, been a long fun. time so we're thinking of maybe you know doing that next year and then we do our traditional big bear trip with something you're not going to go skydiving in Paris I know that was <laughs> <laughs> that was like my stretch uh, <laughs> my one, you know, goal uh, but yeah you got a budget for that one I know so yes I definitely being a planner you, you know you yes. definitely have to have the money set aside Make, for these trips are so much better when they're paid yes. for in advance yeah and so looking at a couple of years out when we have some anniversaries and different things, we know we do have some bigger trips and things planned or I thinking about. Um, so, but that right. comes once again with planning in advance and not just going to do it. So I'm a, I'm a big, I, um, you know, I'm big, I follow my, what I preach yeah. is, you know, you have to plan for it and save for it. And um, it's not just, yes, you want to live, but you also have to make sure it's, you, you prepared for it. So other things to do at the end of the year, let's think about that. Um, flexible spending accounts. If you haven't used up your flexible spending account at work, make sure that gets used. Go to see the dentist, eyeglasses, whatever exams, um, because you'll lose those funds if you don't use them. Uh, I'm just trying to think of some other things that you might want to do before yeah. the end of the and year. And I think we've kind of talked a few times, but just bring it up again, is um, if somebody has investments and they want to do any, um, you know, any they want to do any tax, tax planning, loss, mm-hmm, yes. harvesting, so there's some planning to look at your investments to see, you know, do I have gains or losses and how do I offset some of the gains? Doing a lot of those right yes. now. Yeah. So that, and then also, you know, looking at for next year, you know, there's requirement distributions coming up for next year and just, you know, starting, starting to look at that again. Make sure that you've already taken your RMD well, yeah, as well. We, yeah, you, yeah, we talked you about haven't. Yes. I've hammered that one. <laughs> yes. Make sure you took it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Because, you know, we don't want to wait to the last minute and here yeah. we are, you know, in December. So if you haven't taken it, definitely want to take that. Yeah. Um, so those are a couple, a couple of things. I think we're kind of gearing up for next year. So we're looking we'll be at doing a lot of workshops, yeah, yeah, so. investing workshops for, yep. for the ladies. Mm-hmm. It'll be fun. Yeah. So looking to that. And then um, we talked about, uh, we're actually going to be doing in January. Um, we kind of have a life by design workshop that we're going to bring in, uh, which is talks more about kind of expenses and budgeting and lifestyle and how to kind of really look at your, um, you know, now that you have some goals, you know, how what's do next? I, yeah, how yes. what's next? So we're going to be doing that I in January. That, yeah. And then, and then each month we'll do our 
workshops. We love in person. Um, we also have some webinars online. We have our kind of savvy I think that videos. Would be a, that and, would be a great goal for us next year is yeah. to do uh, some virtual workshops as well. Yeah, I mean like a webinar or something. Yeah, yeah, I think that might be good. I think we have some interest. Yeah, because I think there's some people, we love in person, but there's some people that can't. Maybe we do like a live webinar and then a couple of web webinars that people can go back and watch. Good goal. So, I like yes. it. Great. Okay, so anything else you want to oh wrap up? Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Well, share? let's see here. What else do I have on my list? Well, I'm taking over as the Carlsbad Chamber, Carlsbad, the Chamber of Commerce Treasurer. Oh, okay. um, so I'm really going to dedicate time to do a great job there. Nice. Um, but I'm excited to support our chamber and um, really pour into the lives of business owners a little bit more. And that's that's a big goal. I had to give up a couple of my extracurricular activities Um yeah, it's sometimes you can't I, do everything. I know. It's hard. It's really I, hard. I was the same way. I've had multiple, I was on multiple boards, and then eventually I had to scale back a little bit. Yeah, you can a, still be a part or, or be a member, but it's, correct. It's hard to when you're trying to run a business and then have. I officially resigned <clears throat> as yeah. the sponsorship director for the Oktoberfest. Yeah, made like me I, so sad, yeah. but at the same time, knowing that I'm the incoming treasurer, yeah. I know that I need to have and dedicate yeah. um, time there. And um, that's where you have to. I can still to, go to the Oktoberfest and have fun. Exactly. And but that's where your goals yeah. come into place. And then you have to look at, okay, yes. how am I allocating my time and prioritizing? And yes. not only do you prioritize financially your money, but you have to prioritize your time. And that's and one that's, thing that I've been trying to say is instead of saying I don't have time yeah. is it's not a priority right now. Yeah. And and really being intentional with, with those decisions because you and I both have a tendency to say yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so learning to say no, no is hard, but you can, is. You, can, you can do it. Yes, we, we can. Um, and, and it just it makes life sweeter to not have so many plates spinning, um, but to be really intentional with what the goals are. Great. Well, I think we're, that's a wrap. So we appreciate everybody listening. Um, once again, we're available if anybody wants to chat. Love to hear yeah. from you. So you can reach us at 760-692-5190, or you can join us at one of our live events or workshops. Please stay tuned for important regulatory disclosures. Savvy Women Wealth Management is an SEC registered investment advisor. The opinions expressed in this program are for general informational purposes only and are not intended to provide specific advice or recommendations for any individual or on any specific security. It is only intended to provide education about the financial industry and how we may be able to assist. To determine which investments may be appropriate for you, consult your financial advisor prior to investing. Any past performance discussed during this program is no guarantee of future results. As always, please remember investing involves risk and possible loss of principal capital. Tax considerations presented may not be appropriate for every individual circumstance. A tax professional should be consulted before making any decisions about your tax liability.